Hello everyone, welcome. It's time for another character analysis. As the most recent poll stated, not most recent, this has been months in production. <laughs> you all wanted this character analysis. So here it is. A few things to mention before we begin. Thank you to at Toll Drama Joseph 146 for all the late character moments as playing in the background as we speak. None of this is hate towards on issue cartoons. They have created such an incredible series in this venture camp, and again, I cannot see cannot wait to see what happens next. And this video will be structured as so my basic thoughts, basically my basic thoughts on Lake's character before the deep dive, the pre-changed lake, before she turns quote unquote free in a sense, after change lake. After she becomes free, the conclusion to conclude the video. There's nothing and there's not anything else I really need to say before we begin this. So let's begin starting off with my basic thoughts on Link. Do you really enjoy making fun of us? Making us suffer? Well, I feel sorry for you. Only someone miserable needs for her others to feel better. As a not like your father. You are worse. You are a monster. Maybe this isn't the best way to lay out a character analysis, but I wanted to do my own basic thoughts, my personal basic thoughts on Link character as a whole before we went into this. This would help make more sense to begin, how I overall view this character, and plus, putting all of this at the end of the video, I don't know, I just wanted to do it now because at this point, why not? For those who have not seen my ranking this Metro Camp Season 2 characters, Link in the Iron Card above, <laughs> oh my gosh, Link was ranked number one, and I still stand by this opinion. Not only is she the best handled character in the entire season, at least in my opinion, her arc is so well done, which we'll see why throughout the video. With th throughout the video, I can't speak English anymore, I don't think, for her personality, her design is incredible, and just overall a really well done character. And heck, from my knowledge, the creators even think Lake was 10 out of 10 character from the Oliver VA's interview, if I'm remembering this right, hopefully I am, which really proves how amazing she really is. Now, with my basic thoughts out of the way, we can continue to talk about pre change Lake. Do you really enjoy making fun of us? Making us suffer? Well, I feel sorry for you. Only someone miserable needs for her others to feel better. As a not like your father. You are worse. You are a monster. As stated beforehand, I absolutely adore Lake. However, she still does have her problems as a character, and I think most of it can stem from pre change Lake. During this time, she makes friends with Maggie and Rose Maria, plus Aiden later on, and we learn about her issues back home, such as doing schoolwork, having a forced marriage, all of that. As well, a major plot point is the fact that she's fallen from stress, and which I think is a very interesting way to develop this character, in my opinion. Anyway, she also has a fight with Rosa, which gets resolved later on, and is a strong base for her character as a whole. Pre change Lake and in episode 6 with her standing up to her parents in a confessional. I wanted to prioritize with my issues with pre change like really quick. I basically summarized everything that had happened. Small events aren't really included here, but the main thing is how slow Burn Lake's arc really is. It takes 5 to 6 episodes before he truly starts overall, basically her quote unquote change. Well, I don't think I should be quote unquote. Whatever! <laughs> Which ends up making Lake keep signed up boring. I'm sorry, before her arc really starts, and especially since we only truly get two episodes to see this change in Lake. Then just then she's just eliminated due to Rhea. So we mostly get pre-change Lake, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but I just do wish it was a bit faster paced and we could have gotten to see more of this change lake. So especially this is when and where her character truly began to shine for me personally. And another thing I do kind of wish they did is they make Rosa doubt a bit more about Lake's home life. Like it took until she learned there's a forced marriage before she really cared too much and saw how big of an issue it was. Plus it was around right after this that she tried to talk to her about it. Giving Rosa a bit more doubt and developing this more would add a lot more to the fight in the end basically more developing Rosa's doubts, and so when Lake and Rose have that fight, it's a lot more built up and it hits it a lot more for me. And also, more Rose and Lake bonding moments, like all you really needed was like one or two more than bonding alone. Look, I, I get Maggie was there, but it would make the, again, Rose and Lake fight hit a lot more because this is one of the biggest parts of her story arc, and for me, it didn't really hit. So yeah, and the better this part hits for me, the better the arc can be because this is one, as I said earlier, the most important parts. Also, I kind of wish you learned a bit more about her siblings. This is just me being pur purely very curious and how they handled this pressure or maybe a bit more about her parents so we can know why they care so much about reputation rather than then having decent careers, why they became this way. Again, this is just more me being very, very curious. So anyways, I think that's basically all of my thoughts on pre-change Lake. She's cool. I do wish, again, her arc was a little bit faster paced so we could have gotten to see more about her change Lake because again, 
that's just where her character becomes this amazing cool girl. Anyway, on to after change. Bye. Do you really enjoy making fun of us? Making us suffer? Well, I feel sorry for you. Only someone miserable needs to hurt others to feel better. As a not like your father. You are worse. You are a monster. After Change Lake is where I think the community really changed their opinion and finally saw where the potential Lake can have, how good of a character she can actually be. And seeing her development into this powerhouse, someone who doesn't really care about anything and she just wants to be herself, it builds up her as this incredible character. And what does help is that this change in her feels very natural and her having such a stable arc. But more on that later, we've got to dive into our next few episodes. Episode 6 is where we really see the change in her. Her. Crystal comes to pick her up on a helicopter where it's announced that she's being removed from the game. To the shock of both her and Hunter, we flip to her in the tent, staying with Crystal until her parents return. In this scene, I'll just play it for you. I'm done. I'm sure he'll send me straight to boarding school, and I'll have to spend my youth surrounded by cranky nuns. They're the worst. Since I was born, they have controlled every aspect of my life. From the clothes I should wear, to the tone my skin should have. What about your mother? Wow. You may hear this as a bit ungrateful, but I would have preferred to see my dad on television than feel scared every time I see him in person. It really moves Crystal, and this is actually one of the biggest parts of her development, which I find that very interesting. And I am kind of sad that we really never get any, like, Crystal interactions with Link that are positive after this episode, because it's such a sweet dynamic to me, and they just relate to each other, and they help each other in, s in several ways, more than one, and it's just so sweet to overall see. And then after that, we flip to the very end of the episode, where we see Hunter mentioned Lake's out of the game, the heroes were Maria sad, adore the friendship, and we flip to Crystal iconically telling off Lake's parents and Lake saying Crystal, her confessional shows her change. And we go to episode 7 where Rhea wants her perfume, so they all go to this tent to steal it back. And in the process, Lake finds a red wig, which reminds her of one she truly wanted back in the day. She then takes it and decides to use it as her new wig, which expresses her new changed self. In the same episode, we learn that Lake is also decently smart, not just book-wise, but they're talking with Aiden, which, like, Aiden's right. How do you know all of this, Lake? I I'm curious, kind of. Anyways, she becomes a competition beast. Granted, this competition was rigged. I, I, I refuse to believe otherwise so she should have been given a rightful win and this is the most horrible excuse for hunter plot armor i've ever seen i still do find it funny but that's why we also see her the strategic side of things when she goes up to the with the other girls to aiden and james to vote on somebody from the love triangle overall it's a character that she's now opened up become this powerhouse and she keeps developing on that too episode eight which is her sad demise let's go over her this episode now she's dominated as per usual now we see her doubting legit this entire setup but once they see ally they're all already immersed and they believe this game the fairy girls run off, then head to the bus. Once Rose is captured, Blake runs to the boat, and she almost escapes. She puts up a great fight against Carol, which I don't see pre-change Lake doing as well of a job, but it just shows, again, how much Lake has truly changed into this, again, powerhouse. Anyways, she still sadly loses, even though she lasts the longest. Like, they robbed Lake two challenges in a row. Give her her rightful win eventually. And we all know how this episode ends. Lake just gets out from the smartest move Rhea's ever done, in my opinion. And then we moved her sandwich where head to the hotel and stays here there at the motel, unlike the ha other half of the cast. We don't see Lake for another few episodes, not until the finale where Aiden chooses Lake as his helper or vice versa. Lake, while on the bus, talks with Aiden about James, where Lake shows common sense into him. Our next scene is like doing the competitions where she of course is beasting through them with some extra help from Aiden along the way. The main next scene I want to more so focus on is the one where Lake is talking to Aiden about James while he's climbing up the rock wall. People can change, just look at me. It really proves and shows how proud of herself she's become. This new self makes her feel proud, makes her feel like herself. And she's, it's just all so great to witness occur, seeing that she takes the change she's gone through as a very positive, seeing how happy she is now. We end this episode off with Lake being very concerned for Aiden's safety. Old Lake would have done the same, but still, Lake, James literally uses teleportation. I, I don't understand how else he could have gotten up there, because from the angle of the camera we got to see, there's no way he could, oh, whatever. Lake watches with happiness as Aiden listens to her advice. It's confirmed by Aiden that Lake carried him to the finals. And since Aiden was actually in the lead for most of the challenges, this is all confirming to me if 
if like main finale she would easily win just got, just gotta throw this in here the next scene we have is like as her smiling at rosa and we flip to her discussion with aiden where do we learn where we learn that all the drama got her kicked out of her family man like man like just like mm. and we learn she's moving in with rosa i can't these two have formed such a nice bond and it's just nice it's also great to see your bond with aiden and i think it's an underrated friendship but i just like the dynamic maybe that is just me Next, next time we see Lake, she's volunteering to help out James. Iconic. And it's because of her Rhea shot down with the, like, what was it? The ping pong balls? Yeah. And James wins. She's the only reason in the end that James wins, like, at the very, very end. And then she gets no money. This is a joke. This is a joke, but still. Our final scene with her saying good luck to Aiden and James in the future and just celebrating overall. And that marks the end of Lake's change something we got to see in season two. Change Lake, as I stated earlier, is where I really started to like Lake as a character. Every scene we get with her for me personally is just pure gold. Her interactions work so well with the others, the, the dynamics. And there's not a scene where she's in like, I'm bored. She offers development to other characters while she's being fully developed herself. And I do think there was a potential to give her a winner because she would have worked to me really well as just this huge winner. Would it be predictable? yes but it, it just would have hit her and it would have worked so well and you could have further developed her like it feels like as i stated earlier her just just being getting eliminated in episode eight it kind of hurts and again it's not done bad at the show and i think it's the best done arc to anyone who views my community post they might remember i did the best arc in season two poll and i didn't include lake that's because i forgot so i'm sorry <laughs> Without much more to say on Lake's Change Self, let's just move on to the conclusion. Do you really enjoy making fun of us? Making us suffer? Well, I feel sorry for you. Only someone miserable needs for her others to feel better. As a not like your father. You are worse. You are a monster. Season 2 can have such mis-execution across the board, and I'm very happy to say that Lake was one of the very successful arcs that we th that we saw throughout. We get to see such a great development through and through, and although I do think it was slightly rushed at times, had lots of potential to be a great winner, these are just minor critiques, and they don't really damage your overall arc for me. And that, my friends, is the ending of her character analysis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. What Dispenser Camp character do you want me to just analyze next? Comment down below if you want your suggestions. I'll definitely keep them in mind. Anyways, this is Alexa signing off. Until next time, bye!